the UK Ministry of Defence has awarded BAE Systems and Leonardo £317 million to develop a next-generation radar for Royal Air Force RAF, Typhoon jets. Today we announce the investment in the latest in radar technology for our fighter jets and pioneering new defence systems to counter threats from drones, Defence Minister Jeremy Quinn announced today. The RAF is also one step closer in bringing its AUKUS technology into force, which can jam radio signals from drones and has already been successfully deployed during drone sightings at airports. Typhoon Radar The European Common Radar System Mark II, ECR SMK2, radar is a multifunctional array, MFA, that will give UK typhoons electronic warfare capability in addition to traditional radar functions, including wideband electronic attack. It will equip RAF pilots with the ability to locate, identify and suppress enemy air defenses using high-powered jamming. They can engage targets whilst beyond the reach of threats, even when they are looking in another direction, and operate inside the range of opposing air defenses, remaining fully protected throughout. This capability will replace the mechanically scanning radar that RAF typhoons are currently equipped with and will ensure the UK retains the freedom to deliver air power wherever and whenever it is needed. It also enables the typhoons to link up with future data-driven weapons to combat rapidly evolving air defences, ensuring that UK typhoons can continue to dominate the battle space for years to come. The new radar will be based on Active Electronically Scanned Array, AESA technology and will provide game-changing capabilities based on a revolutionary MFA. It has significantly more transmit-receive elements than other radars, making MK2 the most capable fighter s our radar in the world, maintaining the same power and precision of traditional radars but also enabling the simultaneous operation of its wideband electronic warfare functionality. Counter-Drone Technology the Royal Air Force's Synergy Counter Drone Research and Development Program has reached a significant milestone with the AUKUS Counter Drone Capability Achieving Initial Operating Capability, IOC. IOC was achieved after AUKUS completed successful testing of a full range of integrated detect, track, ID, and defeat technologies. Vital to protecting UK air bases from hostile drone activity. AUKUS will enable the RAF to evaluate a range of capabilities including advanced radar, electro-optic and radio frequency sensors, plus an electronic attack countermeasure. The device looks similar to a camera module placed on top of a tripod, allowing for unparalleled versatility in operations. The technology is part of the RAF's Counter Unmanned Aerial System CUES, research and development program with Leonardo to establish the most effective way to detect track, identify and defeat hostile drones. Elements of Leonardo's CUES equipment played a supporting role in RAF force protection in 2018 and 2019, following drone sightings at Gatwick and Heathrow airports, allowing airport operations to resume. The current phase of the program, which started in 2019, supports more than 50 highly skilled jobs with over 20 at Leonardo with the primary integration work undertaken at its Basildon and Southampton sites and real-time testing taking place at several mod locations within the UK. The Taiwanese Ministry of Defence has denied shooting down a Chinese Su-35 jet today, after social media was abuzz with reports that suggested the same. The Air Force Command has refuted reports of shooting down Su-35. The information is false and completely untrue. The service strongly condemns this malicious act by deliberately creating and disseminating false information on the Internet in an attempt to confuse the audience, the mod said in a statement. Earlier, multiple videos on Twitter showed an aircraft engulfed in thick smoke in an unknown location. It was alleged that the warplane, operated by the Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force, PLAF, had transgressed into Taiwan's strait. The Taiwanese Defense Ministry added, the Air Force Command emphasized that in order to maintain airspace security, it will continue to closely monitor the conditions of the sea and airspace around the Taiwan Strait, and provide correct information in a timely manner to prevent the spread of fake and false news, and to avoid social unrest, and appeals to people to rest assured. In April 2020, Taiwan's missile systems tracked down PLA J-10 and J-11 fighter jets that crossed the median line of the Taiwan Strait, 
and expelled them. As recently as on August 10, China sent the same warplanes into Taiwan's airspace when U.S. Health Secretary Alice Azar went to meet Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen. The jets retreated after Taiwanese patrol planes issued radio warnings and activated air defense missiles on the ground. Taiwan currently has Hawk, I Hawk, and indigenously produced Tian Kung, Sky Bu, and Antelope air defense systems. It has purchased the modified air defense system, MADS, an improved variant of the Patriot surface to air missile, SAM, system. Chinese military experts have recently talked about crushing Taiwan. A pair of combat capable aircraft carriers can squeeze the island of Taiwan from different angles. Together with the DF 21D and DF 26 anti ship ballistic missiles of the PLA Rocket Force, they can lock down the island and deny possible U.S. intervention, Beijing based naval expert Li Jie told Global Times on Tuesday, when China's new Shandong carrier was departing for its first combat drills. Citing China Military Power Report 2020, Taipei Times reported on September 1 that Chinese PLA could successfully blockade the island nation but will not be able to wage an all-out war.